Alright man, we out here in Brooklyn, you feel me? Puga Lee's out here, we got Bird, or Mortal Squad and whatnot. We going around Brooklyn, going to retro gaming stores. I've been wanting to do this for a while, so we gonna get this on and popping. I gotta be the cameraman, cause this man right here don't wanna record, and she don't wanna record, so I gotta do all the recording. But uh, we gonna show you guys different spots in Brooklyn. I'm going in here and I'm copping the damn Dreamcast. I don't care what they're talking about, you heard? Warriors, Samurais, and Legends, welcome back to the YouTube channel, the Dojo's Extending Baby. A few weeks ago, myself and some black belts at the Dojo, Pugli and Blackbird, went around a few spots in New York looking for some items. Not just any items, but retro store pickups. Now, if you remember, I showed you guys about 30 minutes of all my retro stuff in a previous video, but long story short all my stuff was thrown away <laughs> every single last console every single last controller every single last game all gone so this is me rebuilding it back from scratch we hit up brooklyn first then manhattan then we ended in yonkers without further ado let's get into it retro store pickups baby being outside through the cities, you'll quickly get reminded that New York is loud, like, like real loud. So a lot of times of me talking was washed out by planes, trains, and Timberland do-rag men talking over our breath. <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah, nah, I'm just playing, but let's really take a look into the first spot. It was honestly like a real small joint. Simple, but effective. For whatever reason, I had one console on my mind as the first objective, and that was a Dreamcast. I totally forgot that you had to get memory cards with consoles, but uh, I guess in this case, for your controller. Out of 5 stars, I give this spot a 3.5 out of 5. For such a small place, it sure had a lot of content in it. They even gave free games with purchases, that was like the coolest thing to me. Or so we thought, roll the Blackbird clip, huh? That's why it's free! I'm oh, sorry man. So, <laughs> well, when I bought this Dreamcast here, alright? Dreamcast, they said it comes with two free games, man. Bird, show me the two games you got, first of all. Well, we got two incredible games right here, Ratchet and Clank Up. You also know the Tasmanian Tiger. All right, he's lit. All what right, little man. issue? It's a little issue, man. What a, what a game. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh, man. The second spot I visited was also in Brooklyn. I didn't know what the name of it was at first, but I didn't care. It was a retro gaming spot and I want in. Back in Indiana, I used to go in different flea markets trying to hustle these sellers for a GameCube for like 15 bucks. Ah yes, those were the days. Anyways, this spot was also quite small but it also had a lot of content. My eyes widened as I saw Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, GameCube and more. This glass case containing a whole bunch of retro games was just shining in front of me and I couldn't take my eyes off of it until i saw the price <laughs> i'll pass man i picked up a super nintendo and a gamecube and a few games and we out of here baby after going to a couple spots in brooklyn let's move into manhattan b third spot was my favorite by far i am definitely coming back here i want to make this a series where i go to random spots around my area and just rebuild this collection that our brother was robbed of there's nothing better for me right now gaming wise than nostalgia this spot was so compact, but it was so clean. I don't think there was a single console missing from it. They even had custom Dreamcast games, like what? The people there were really nice and helpful, and I won't lie, it was so hard not trying to buy so much more, but I gotta chill. I got an N64, a red PS5 controller, cause why not? The OG Smash Bros, OG Mortal Kombat for Super Nintendo, and a lot more. But here is what ultimately caught my eye. As I was leaving, I saw it. A golden Game Boy. What? An LED screen with custom backlight. I am in. Stop playing with me. This spot was incredible and I'm definitely going back. Let's move on to spot number four, shall we? Come on. The fourth spot was very aesthetically pleasing as this was the biggest spot. A wide area where you can comfortably explore the retro games. If I had any criticism of any of the previous spots, it was the tight spaces you had to squeeze through to get around once customers were present. The people were super cool here too, very welcoming, which is rare for New York. <laughs> a lot of PS2 games and Game Boy Color games, I 
came to spot four specifically specifically looking for silver version or crystal version and i finally found it oh yeah oh no <laughs> i wasn't proud of it though because 150 dollars lord you tell me man do i look happy huh i tucked away my pride and got my favorite version with my favorite pokemon of all time suicune we out here man all right so we're going to another spot spot number five which one's in yonkers no yo yo stop waving that's my video that's my video um but yeah we're going to another spot it's about to be about to be another journey i'm having a lot of fun though and uh i'm spending a lot of irresponsible money right now i don't know how i'm gonna make this back i blame bird <laughs> last but not least spot five was in yonkers after the two previous spots being in Manhattan, we drove a long way. Shout out to Blackbird. He's the GOAT, you hear me? This spot was real smooth. It was a nice area with nice people. It had a lot of amiibos, which I may want to start a collection whenever I move out of this tiny room that I'm in. I saw a Def Jam Vendetta, so that was cool. Seeing good old d -Mob. From the jump, I saw someone playing San Andreas on a TV casually like it was 04 again, baby. All right, man. There you have it. Just got some more things. Got a PS1, PS2. Uh, got some memory cards because I legit forgot about that. I had to get a GameCube memory card, but that's it, man. Um, as you can see, it's dark as hell now, you know. And uh, we're going to go home and I'm going to look at the haul I got and we're going to see. Check out the retro gaming haul, huh? Huh? This is just the beginning, man. Instead of feeling down about my old hall being demolished, I'm just going to focus on the future. What's done is done and I can't get it back. Definitely out of everything, my favorite pickup here is the Golden Game Boy. I'm going to spend hours just laying in a brother's bed reliving my love for Pokemon, man. Just as soon as I replace this damn battery in my cartridge so I can save my game progress successfully. Yay! $150, everybody. Yeah, yeah. All of these purchases to live in these current moments. Chugging glizzies, eating good food, and enjoying retro gaming with friends. You can't fabricate the feeling. I'm going to catch y'all in the next one, and I'm already excited to do this again. Episode 1 of The Retro Journey is down. It only gets better from here, baby. See you in the next one. <laughs> oh, my God. It's, it's Jadakiss. Oh, my God. <laughs>